hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i will share with you a super moisturizing and strengthening hair mask that will keep your hair moisturized and easy to manage thus promoting hair growth if that's what you're interested in please watch to the end of the video i have here some rice which is one of our main ingredients for the recipe of today our measure one cup of rice is equivalent to 125 milliliters. I will transfer the rice into a bowl and wash it. Please make sure to wash the rice in order to get rid of the dirt and impurities. After washing the rice, I will transfer it into a clean pot. Our next ingredient is okra. I have here some fresh okra which I have already washed okra is very beneficial for hair growth as it provides moisture and nourishment to your strands is super essential during colder months okra also provides great sleep to your curls allowing detangling to go a lot more smoother it also helps to decrease freeze i'll go ahead and slice my okra into smaller sizes just to enable the cooking process and the blending process guys you can always customize this uh, recipe you can always use the quantity of rice or the quantity of okra according to your hair needs after slicing the okra i'll put it aside i'll bring back my pot of washed rice i'll add in some water I'm using mineral water for the, for a recipe. All my recipes I use mineral water. After adding the water, I will transfer the pot onto the onto the fire and cook the rice. Uh, sorry guys, I I, I did not uh, place my camera well. That is why you see the images in the horizontal way. So why uh, when the rice is half cooked, you adding the okra. This to ensure that the okra should not be overcooked so that it will not lose its nutrients. When you add the okra, you, you stir it and mix together with the rice and add it more water so that when the rice uh, cooks well, the okra will also be ready. When your rice and okra is cooked, please allow it to cool down before you proceed to the next step, which is to blend so that you will not damage your blender. So I'm going to transfer the okra and the rice into a blender. I will then go ahead and add in some water just to ease the blending process. It's very important to add, to add water. You can, see, you can as well add coconut milk to, in order to blend the rice. It also works fine. So after blending the rice and okra, I'll go ahead to strain it. Please do not skip this step. Because if you skip this step, you will be left with residue into your hair and that is not what we want. You can as well use a, a, a wig cap or a cheese cloth in order to strain your, uh, your blended ingredient. While straining our deep conditioner, let me give you some benefits of rice for hair growth. It makes the hair smoother. It increases shine. It also makes the hair stronger thus promoting hair growth. Rice also repairs cuticle damage. It as well increases hair volume. After the straining process, this is our deep conditioner that I've obtained. I'll go ahead and add in some oils. I have here black castor oil. I also have here a DIY Ayurveda oil. I'll also add in moringa oil and some essential oils i will start by adding one tablespoon of my diy ayurveda oil i have a video on the channel i'm going to drop the link in the description box i also add in half teaspoon of moringa oil i also add in half teaspoon of my black castor oil I'll go ahead and add in two tablespoons of honey guys 
it's always good to add honey into your deep conditioners because honey is a humectant it will pull moisture into your hair after that i will add in some essential oils i have here tea tree essential oil peppermint lavender and lemongrass essential oils i will add in about five drops of each of the essential oils if you are pregnant please do not use essential oil as it's not advisable and, and if you are breastfeeding as well it's not advisable to use essential oils after adding all my oils into the deep conditioner i'll go ahead and mix them well in order to incorporate them into the deep conditioner guys if you have if you are not uh, added okra in your hair regimen yet i will re recommend you to do so because okra is very moisturizing it's a very good ingredient to add into your hair regimen when you do so you won't regret after mixing everything this is the consistency which i obtain this mask is very nourishing and moisturizing try it and thank me later guys so let me show you how i apply the mask onto my hair this is our mask i've uh this is my hair i've not washed my hair because i washed my hair last week after applying the the hair scrub so i shampooed my hair so as i always tell you i shampoo my hair once in a month the other weeks of the month i just deep condition my hair so i'll apply the mask on the root of my hair as well as the length of my hair and when i apply the mask i go ahead and uh, massage uh, my hair so that the mask will penetrate into my hair and my hair will have the full benefit of the mask it's very important what i'm doing and when you apply your mask whatever you apply on your hair always make sure to also apply it on the ends of your hair because the ends of your hair is the oldest part of your hair so it needs much care because if you do not take uh, good care of the ends of your hair uh, your, 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 your hair will break and you will not retain length you may think your hair does not grow whereas our, your hair grows our hair grows the problem is to retain length so we need to know how to manipulate our hair to know how to apply products onto our hair in order to retain length and maximize hair growth so after applying the the mask onto onto my hair the length of my hair and the ends of my hair i'll go ahead and give my hair a light uh detangling i'll detangle my hair with my fingers as i always do in all my videos okra is very detangling uh, when you combine it with it, uh, with rice as I, I i i did in this recipe it's very detangling it's always good to detangle your hair whenever you apply uh, any uh, deep conditioner on your hair it's always good to uh, uh, detangle your hair in order to avoid breakage as you can see i'm working in sections i always uh, work in sections in all my videos i do so in order to reduce breakage and i will encourage you to, to do same always try to work in sections after applying the marks on this section of my hair i'll go ahead and twist my hair and put it into bantu knots i'll take another section and do the same thing for those of you living abroad the weather has changed now it's, it's cold and the winter is fast approaching it's advisable to do more of moisturizing deep conditioners than the one i'm doing in this video because when it's cold uh, it, 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 it has a tendency of drying out our hair and when our hair is dry it breaks easily and uh, when our head breaks we, we may not experience growth so it's very important to, to do more of moisturizing deep conditioners on the channel i'm going to show i'm going to uh, share more of moisturizing deep conditioners so this is a moisturizing deep conditioner as i earlier told you and you can apply it every week with my moisturizing deep conditioners i apply them uh, three times in a month and I apply one protein treatment or one strengthening treatment in a month. So if a month has four weeks, yeah, so three weeks of the month, 
moisturizing treatments and the one week protein treatment or strengthening treatment my name is Adeline and if you are watching the video up to this moment and are not subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel and join the family let's join it together and grow our hair thank you please always feel free to share your thoughts with me in the comment section and, and let's interact as we journey to grow our hair always ask your questions and i'll be glad to answer you please like and share the video to family and friends as we certainly help someone out there when you apply this deep conditioner you can keep it for for an hour and after you rinse it and continue the next step of your wash day that is you apply a leave-in conditioner you see your moisture with the butter a hair butter a hair cream or an oil when i finish doing my hair i will just uh, put on a, a a plastic bag and also put on a a, a, a scarf in order to incorporate it which is very important so that the put the deep conditioner will penetrate into my hair I thank you for watching the video up to this moment. I appreciate and as always, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.